Jute Industries as the second important textile industry in India, which is contributing the three percent in a total. Sorry, three percent in a GDP of our country. Jute Industries. India's first jute industry. It was as a set up at a Rishna. Rishna near Calcutta, near Calcutta in 1855. 1855, India's first jute industry. It was as a set up at a Rishna near Calcutta in 1855. In 1855. <clears throat> Most, most number of jute industries are concentrated in a northeastern regions of Assam, Meghalaya, and West Bengal. Assam, Meghalaya, and West Bengal, known for the location of jute industries in India. Jute industries. Jute industries in India. India is the second largest producer of jute industries. Second largest producer of a jute in world economy. Second largest producer of a jute afterwards the Bangladesh. It is a leading producer of a jute products in a world market. Leading producer of jute products in world market. The leading producer of a jute in world economy as a Bangladesh, our nearest and the strongest competitor. West Bengal in our country, which is known for the Highest production of a jute in our country. The major producer of a jute in India is the West Bengal. There are total number of a 70 mills are concentrated in a parts of a Hooghly region. 70, 70 mills, 70 jute mills are concentrated in a parts of a Hooghly region. The factors responsible for the growth of a jute industries in India are the close proximity of a mills to jute growing areas. Most number of jute industries are concentrated in the parts of northeastern parts of West Bengal and plains of West Bengal in Hooghly region of Calcutta. Because of which, because of which as a, why? Because of the more production, more production of a jute has occurred in this region. That's why as a jute industries are concentrated in the parts of West Bengal. Second, inexpensive, inexpensive waterways are easily available to the Ganga River. India's longest inland waterway, it has worked on Allahabad to the Hooghly. So due to as a concentration of a concentration of jute mills along the banks of a Hooghly River, along banks of Hooghly River, easily transported the jute products, raw jute, from uh, production sites towards the industry and afterwards the uh, manufactured goods easily transported towards as the coastal regions of uh, Calcutta and uh, Hooghly through inland waterways. Availability of uh, cheaper inland waterways supportive for the growth of the concentration of uh, jute industries in uh, West Bengal. Third, nearness of a uh, Kolkata port. Nearness of Kolkata port. Kolkata port for further export of a uh, Jute towards the other countries of the world. Jute towards the other countries of the world. Jute exporting towards the other countries of the world. <clears throat> Inexpensive and skilled labor. Skilled labor. Cheaper availability of labor from densely populated areas of Orissa, Jharkhand, Bihar, and West Bengal. Supportive for the concentration of jute industries in a West Bengal region. West Bengal region. A large number of a workforce available from a densely populated areas of a <clears throat> Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, which has supplied the cheaper availability of a workforce for jute industries. Infrastructural facilities, banking, insurance, finance, power supply, and support of a good railways and a roadway roadways supportive for the growth of a jute industries in Indian economy. Jute industry is important as it provides 
to support the 2.6 lakh number of our workers in our country 2.6 lakh total workers are directly dependent upon the directly dependent to for the earning of their for earning of their livelihood on jute industry <clears throat> jute industry facing as a challenges in a modern economy so what are the challenges which are faced by the problems faced by the jute industry in present economy as a obsolete machinery our most number of a jute industries these are function from pre colonial sorry uh, pre independent period from pre independent period so their machinery their technology is outdated which has lead to the less production this is as a challenge for a jute industries in india due to as a rise of a new competitors bangladesh thailand egypt brazil philippines philippines which are selling the jute products at a low cost as compared to this the indian jute products are the expensive that's why the this industry jute industry in india facing as a problem problem <clears throat> third indian jute industry indian jute industry has to face as a stiff competition with the synthetic fabric synthetic substitutes like as a nylon and a polyester nylon polyester they are creates as a competition synthetic substitutes they creates as a competition for the competition for a jute industries because presently as a extensively use of a extensive use of a polythene bags nylon polyester which has widely used as compared to the jute which becomes as a more expensive fourth as a jute industry it is as essential to raise the productivity of a labor which bring down the cost of the production and replace the obsolete machinery the problems associated with the traditional skills it can be as a solve the problem it can be as a solve when we raise as a <clears throat> productivity of labor so low productivity of labor is a low productivity of labor is a basic constraint for a jute industry in international markets international market which uh, which has been ca uh, captured again by offering the diversified jute products of a good quality or at good quality at reasonable rates other countries which are providing the such jute products at a reasonable rates is the competition which is providing as a competition to the indian jute products indian jute products india exports its jute bags mats jute bags mats <clears throat> jute bags mats packing materials carpets carpets sacks and other products of day to day life to united kingdom russia united arab republic australia canada and usa to enhance the demand for a jute product national jute policy formulated in a 2005 national <clears throat> national jute policy formulated in 2005 for support to boost the jute industries in india boost jute industries in india so what were the objectives targeted under the national jute policy of 2005 2005 objectives set under the national jute policy of 2005 first to increase the area under the jute production those lands those highly productive lands of a sundarbans which can be as a utilized for a production of a jute but now presently as used for a production of a cereal crops production of cereal crops deltaic regions the deltaic soils they are favorable for production of a production of jute so area under the jute production for it has to it has to be as increased under the national jute policy second second <clears throat> second as per the concentration of a more number of a jute mills jute mills in a hugli region hugli region for which increase in a 
increase in financial support increase in financial support to which the outdated machinery it can be their problem it can be as a sorted out with availability of a cheaper credit facility cheaper credit means loan cheaper credit facility the problem of a outdated machinery it can be as a sorted out if the capital provided to the industrialists at a low interest rate through which they can change as technology through which the more production will occur and india it will earn their good profit margin good profit margin third to ensure good prices to ensure good prices to jute growers good prices to jute growers around 3 4 months earlier in your city jalandhar some of the farmers they protested protested they obstructed as a national highway one gt road grand trunk road which was as moving towards as a delhi towards as a amritsar it was as a obstructed by the farmers to raise as the prices of a sugar cane to raise prices of sugar cane why because most number of industries they are not paid salaries so not pay as the total expenditure or the amount of a price amount of price of a crops on time that's why as a farmers they are moving from a sugar cane production production towards the cereal crops same happen in a north eastern states north eastern states north eastern states where the low prices are given to the jute producers that's why the area under the jute production is reducing and the area under the rice production increasing day by day so to ensure as a good prices to the jute growers this is also set under the national jute policy of 2005 2005 2005 and fourth timely payment timely payment to jute growers timely payment of timely payment of jute production to farmers to farmers so besides this as the people concerned towards as a using the eco friendly materials which has created demand for the jute products in a present economy to as a restrictions imposed by the state governments for the use of for the use of a polythene bags now as a role of a jute jute products is increasing day by day role of a jute products increasing day by day in modern economies clear next is a sugar industry sugar industry sugar industry is known as the sick industry in india sick industry the total production which is as a desirable as compared to the present demand this much of the production is not occurred that's why it is known as a sick industry sick industry sugar industry present demand it is not accomplished to as the sugar industry the most number of a sugar afterwards as the afterwards the national consumption the remaining demand of a sugar it has complete to the pakistan we are importing our sugar from a pakistan sugar industry which is as dependent on a sugar cane and located in a raw material producing areas sugar cane is a heavy raw material which is a perishable in nature and which can be as easily dry i think this was as discussed ashin okay let's we continue sugar industry is a weight losing industry weight losing industry because the raw material required is a larger in quantity than the produced finished goods in india india is the second largest producer of a sugar sugar in world afterwards as a china the india is a leading producer of a sugar products like as a jaggery and a khansari the reasons responsible for the most number of a sugar industries which are concentrated in a parts of a western and a southern parts of a country as a longer season the higher productivity and the production higher sucrose content higher sucrose content success of a cooperative societies in a southern india and fourth one as a cooler climatic conditions which ensures as a 
longer crushing period of sugar cane sugar cane afterwards we discuss as the reasons sorry problems associated with the sugar industry obsolete machinery erratic power supply low productivity of labor low productivity of labor inefficient methods of production seasonal nature of industry transport delay in re, uh, reaching the sugar cane to the factories which deprive which decrease as a quality of a sugar cane why because the sucrose content dries if afterwards as a harvesting sugar cane directly not reaching towards as a industry under such circumstances the quality the sucrose content it will be as a dry due to the hot weather hot and dry weather conditions that's why the most number of sugar industries are concentrated nearer to the source of their raw materials raw materials in your jalandhar nearer to the jalandhar in fagwara there is as a sugar industry is there in bhopur mukeria pathan kot nama shahar all the cities when you are enter at their entrance there are the sugar industries which are consuming the sugar cane producing at its adjoining areas till that we i think we discuss in our previous class so let's you proceed towards as a mineral based industries iron and steel industries mineral based industries till there any questions we already as a discussed till that in previous classes industries using the minerals as their raw materials are termed as the mineral based industries example iron and steel industries chemical industries iron and steel industries petrochemical industries aluminium smelting all these are the industries which are obtaining their raw material from minerals cement aluminium oil refineries petrochemical industries iron and steel industries so in which as a first iron and steel industries iron and steel industries known as the basic industry because these industries are supportive for the growth of infrastructure infrastructure and manufacturing of machines that's why the iron and steel industries are known as a basic industries basic industries iron and steel industries are crucial for the development of the economy of a country and industrialization steel is needed for the manufacture manufacturing of equipments required for mining agricultural machines transportation construction construction medical defense scientific equipments and different number of materials which are required by the human at their day to day life steel industry is classified not only as a basic industry but also as a heavy industry or weight losing industry iron and steel industry is also known as a basic industry weight losing industry reason because in iron and steel industries we need a raw material in larger quantities larger quantities raw form of iron iron ore used for a manufacturing of a steel afterwards the smelting a large amount of a waste remains that's why it is known as a weight losing industry iron and steel industry is also known as a heavy weight industry which has categorized on the basis of a on the basis of a weight of source of weight of raw material large amount large and heavier heavy bulky material raw material required for a manufacturing of a steel in industry that's why it is also known as a heavy weight industry heavy weight industry india is the largest one of the largest producers of a sponge iron in a world economy in which as a raw iron ore is used in a blast furnaces for a smelting of iron smelting of iron iron ore is smelted at the temperature of 400 degrees celsius when the limestone is fluxing material which is added and slag removed slag removed at that stage as a molten form of iron separated from the iron ore which is known as a pig iron that pig iron mix with the chromium and the manganese for manufacturing of steel then it can be as mold in any of a shape sizes 
sheets, rods are manufactured, pipes are manufactured afterwards as the mix when the such pig iron mix with the manganese nickel chromium. Then we can as mold it into the different shapes. Then we discuss as a most number of iron and steel industries are concentrated in a Chota Nagpur region. Chota Nagpur region. India's 10 integrated steel plants are located in a Chota Nagpur region. What are the reasons responsible for the concentration of a such iron and steel industries in a Chota Nagpur region as the these uh, are manuf manufacturing of a steel, the iron and steel industries, iron and steel industries, they are required the raw materials in larger quantities as raw iron ore, iron ore, cooking oil, lime, cooking, coal and limestone, which has required at the ratio of a core ratio, two ratio, one. So the manganese is also required to harden the steel. All such materials which are categorized in a heavy and a bulky category it should be also located nearer to the source of the nearer to the source of an industry. Otherwise, it will be as increased as cost of production. If the such heavier material, bulky material, transported from the distant land towards as an industry, then it will increase as a cost of production. The total expenditure spent on a completion or manufacturing process of a iron and steel. Second, as iron and steel industry is a weight losing industry the, due to their impurities, such impure materials, which remains as a larger quanti quantities of a wastage. Third, as a regular, sorry, the heavy industries, the heavy nature of an industry is the providing the market, which has desired as a nearness of a market to the industry. Market, it should be as located nearer to the industry to which as it can as consume. So most number of industries which are required the iron for manufacturing of other appliances, automobiles, parts. These are concentrated in a Chota Nagpur region. Afterwards, as a manufacturing of a steel, it has consumed easily in a some such number of a small and scattered units for manufacturing of other machine machine parts. Efficient network of a transport in the form of railways to haul the raw material and finished products to the market areas are also supportive for a growth of iron and steel industries in Chota Nagpur region. In this Chota Nagpur region, there are the abundant and the skilled labor is available due to the high growth of population in parts of Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Odisha, and Bihar. The regular supply of electricity is supportive too as the availability of a coal from a Jharia, Jharkhand, Ranigan from uh, Ranigan of West Bengal, Bukaru of a Chhattisgarh. These areas supportive to supply the coal for heating purposes or the hyd hydro power stations, hydro power stations, Hirakot Dam of a Mahanadi River in a Urissa. Damodar River Valley project of uh, West Bengal supportive for a growth of uh, iron and steel industries, which are supplying the regular supply of electricity in uh, iron and steel industry of Chota Nagpur region. In India, the first iron and steel industry, Tisco, was set up in uh, 1907 by Jamshed Ji Nusarwan Tata, J. N. Tata. It was set up as the first iron and steel industry of India. In 1907, it was started their production of iron in a 12, 1912, in 1913, as their production of steel, manufacturing of a steel, started in a 1913. Clear? This industry, which has completed their water requirement from the river Subarnarekha and Kharkai rivers, Kharkai rivers of Odisha. In India, there are the total. 10 integrated steel plants are there. 10 integrated steel plants are there. Steel plants, name of a plant, name of steel plant. Steel plant, their location, in which state is located here, and which organization is responsible for their management, ownership. Ownership. 
ownership first is a tesco tata iron steel company tata iron and steel company located at jamshedpur of jamshedpur of jharkhand of jharkhand this is only iron and steel industry in india which is managed by the public sector so, sorry private sector it is only managed by the private sector next as uh, isco indian iron steel company indian iron steel company it is as located at the banpur of west bengal banpur of west bengal west bengal public sector public sector banpur of west bengal third bhilai steel plant bhilai steel plant bhilai location as a bhilai place as a chatisgarh place as chatisgarh fourth vishveshwarai vishveshwarai iron and steel industry vishveshwarai iron and steel iron and steel limited located at bhadravati located at bhadravati located at bhadravati karnataka it is also managed by the public sector bhadravati karnataka next selim steel plant s a l e m selim fifth selim steel plant location selim state is a tamil nadu ownership as a public sector public sector sixth is a raurkela steel plant raurkela steel plant which has started in collaboration of germany raurkela steel plant location is a raurkela raurkela state as urissa public sector public sector durgapur steel plant durgapur steel plant location durgapur state west bengal public sector public sector next bokaro steel plant place bokaro state state jharkhand public sector ninth vishakhapatnam steel plant place vishakhapatnam state as andhra pradesh public sector public sector vijayanagar steel plant place vijayanagar karnataka place location as a vijayanagar state as karnataka public sector public sector at the time of a colonial period the growth of iron and steel industries which was as supportive during as a tenure of a two world wars during the two world wars during the tenure of a two world wars iron and steel industries they supportive for the supportive for manufacturing of arms and ammunition pramnur singh rajuran pramnur singh and rahul verma prabhnur singh and rahul verma raise your hand both are absent audible oh thank you wake up so two world wars first world war outbreak in a 1914 to the 18 second world war as 1939 to the 1945 in these two world wars a large number of manufactured materials for which as a cotton textiles and iron and steel industries of india supported britishers in a war fronts of europe war fronts of europe india has not been able to compete in a international market and exploit her true potential due to as the first irregular supply of water irregular supply of water and power for the iron and steel industry is relates with the challenges of 
challenges of iron and steel industry challenges of iron and steel industries are most number of rivers are a seasonal in nature in a peninsula india seasonal in nature these areas which are inhabited by the population are the larger in number such population it can complete their need of a water under such circumstances irregular supply of power and water is a basic constraint in a growth of iron and steel industries second problem associated with the iron and steel industries in india as a poor infrastructure roads are there which are managed by the nhai national highways authority of india but still the quality of a roads those roads which are uh, interconnection interconnect with the production sites towards the industries are not sufficient for us we need as a better infrastructure health facilities medical facilities in relation to the education facilities in relation to the existing population which has a uh, dependent on a such iron and steel industries third as lack of a research and development in a field of a iron and steel is creates as a problem due to which as a low graded production low graded production is occur low graded production occur in a iron and steel industries if there are such centers it will be as a developed through which we can make possible for increase in production fourth has limited availability and a high cost of a cooking oil in previous chapter we discussed as in india there is a very limited amount of anthracite and a bituminous quality of a coal is available gondwana age of a coal due to as a low availability low supply it is selling at a high amount high prices high prices so if we use as a such coal as a source of energy in iron and steel industries then the cost of production increase the product which will be as a manufacture and sell in a market it will be the cost at a high high cost then to which the industries it can't be getting as a better margin of a profit next as a lower productivity of labor in a this region of a chota nagpur plateau lower productivity of labor most number of workers in such parts are the living in a below poverty line they are the economically backward these are the economically backward regions where the population pressure is a more comparatively the availability of a resources so despite of all these indian government for improving the industrial growth in india it was as opted as liberalization liberalization in the 1990s in which as government relaxed it liberalized their policies for a fdi foreign direct investment which has given a boost to this industry with the efforts of a private entrepreneurs our government it should allocate the funds for the research and development in producing the quality steel at competitive prices in international market after all once upon our time the india it was as the steel giant which was as producing as a quality of iron which you can be as a check from your history as ashoka spiller around 2300 years back ashoka it used as the purest form of the iron which is still as present at their state in a mehrauli near delhi mehrauli m e h r a u l i which is as a best example in which as a best quality of a best quality of a iron used for a ashoka spiller which showing as the glorious past of india clear glorious past of india in india the iron and steel industries are work to the two of the processes and the systems one is a mini steel plants are there which are the smaller which are uh, which are having as a electric furnaces they use as a steel scrap and a sponge iron they have the re rollers that use the steel steel materials they produce the mild and the alloy steel of uh, given specifications the particular specifications which are as desired by the industries but the others are the integrated steel plants which are total in a 10 in number which are the large scale iron and steel industries these industries handle everything in one complex from putting together raw material to the steel 
making, rolling, and the shipping. They're directly purchasing as a raw iron ore from a miners from the mining sites. Afterwards, it has used for manufacturing of a steel. All processes related with the iron and steel occur at the same place, which are known as a integrated steel plants, which are total now as a 10 in number, out of which as a one as managed by the private sector, Tesco. Tata Iron Steel Company, which was also India's first iron steel industry located at the British Age. And rest of the nine are the public sector agencies, public sector iron and steel industries. These industries, which are supportive for growth of infrastructure in India. Clear?